Hello, my lovely little boys and ghouls. Let's see if we can get this set a little better. How is everyone today? So I figured I'd jump on here live and kind of see what everybody was up to today. I want to do a little tag video and we're going to do a mail call just because I have a couple packages here from some wonderful ladies here on um, YouTube, both YouTube and Instagram actually, because one of the packages I have is from a makeup look I did that I won and then the other one is from another live chat. So hi Athena! Thank you! I just put the backdrop up just a couple days ago. I actually take it up and down. That way I don't have to um, worry too much about it being in my way because my house is kind of tiny. Um, we're going to do um, the perfect subscriber tag and we're also going to open a couple packages that I got in in the last day or two. Um, I have one from Makeup Junkie Patty. I won a Valentine's Day makeup look giveaway from her and then I have one here from Miss Confidence Plus here on YouTube. Um, we were actually just in her live stream, so she's super sweet. The perfect subscriber tag. I'm going to go through that. We're going to open the packages, and then we're going to go through the perfect sub subscriber tag. So it's just a little tag video. It's about how you are as a subscriber more than how your subscribers are with you or who what you would think would be the perfect subscriber. I mean, personally, my perfect subscriber, like not uh, including the tag, the, the people that I consider my perfect perfect subscribers are the ones that always comment. They always interact with me. It's not necessarily on my YouTube videos either. I have a couple of wonderful ladies, um, Chris and Kathy, that I talk to on Facebook. Hi, Cassandra. How are you? We're going to open a couple packages and we're going to do the perfect subscriber tag. Athena, I would consider you a perfect subscriber as well. You always try to catch me when I'm on. You are absolutely the sweetest person. Even when I come on, on your videos, you also engage with me there. You you respond back. You take the time to actually read my comments. And I, I very much appreciate that as well coming from a creator standpoint. Like I think creators should engage with their subscribers as well. I don't think you should just make videos. New title. You are a great subscriber, Athena. Like you, you're amazing. You guys, uh, Athena, passion is a verb. She has an amazing channel. It's super uplifting. Um, she does all sorts of different stuff. Right now she's doing a series called Vlogonize and we're also doing a smile a day challenge. So where you take a selfie every day. And that's also on Athena's channel. So you guys be sure to check that out because that is super, super fun. And I actually completed that challenge when she issued it initially and then we we're doing it again because I know my smile is terrible <laughs> and I have no makeup on tonight we were out fishing today so I did do my nails though and you guys know I never have nails on of course they're press-ons but hey I just kind of felt like messing with them today but let's go ahead let's jump open and open these packages I'm going to open the one I won first from Miss Patty um Patty Makeup Junkie here on YouTube. We did a Valentine's Day. I did open the packages. I just haven't um, actually looked in them yet. I know what this one is, though. So I won this. We did a Valentine's Day makeup challenge, and I actually won. So I'm super excited about that. Oh, here's her little... I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this. This is her card for YouTube. It is... Makeup Junkie Patty, and she goes live at least once a week. She's super fun to watch. She always just does her makeup, and she's super real. And actually, there are her links as well if you want to follow her on actually Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. That girl's got it all covered. And then I have a little card here from her. Let's see. And it looks like it's actually got her logo on it, which is super cute. That's super cute idea. I love that idea. Hi, Priscilla. It says, thank you so much for entering, being supportive. Hope you enjoy your palette. Love, Patty. So now you guys know it's a palette, which I'm super excited about. I wanted this when it was launched. Somebody tagged me in it. And just for some reason, I haven't got it. I don't have much from this brand, even though I do like the brand. And I am opening this stuff all right now, you guys. So obviously, some of it's going to take a second because it is makeup. So it needs to be carefully packaged. So you guys can see what I'll be probably using here fairly soon. 
So we have the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette. Hi, Katie. How are you? Tattooed Mama has an awesome channel, too, you guys. She's um, Katie Loves Makeup, I believe, on Instagram, if I'm correct. But on here, she's uh, Tattooed Mama, and she does the cutest videos with her son, Hunter, which I love that her son's name is Hunter because my stepson's middle name is Hunter. So sitting through a four hour tattoo. Ooh, what are you getting, Katie? I'm really curious. <laughs> so yeah, the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs palette. And this is, let's try not to blind you guys with the mirror. This is what the palette looks like. I like the concept of this, how it has the highlight shade in the middle and then the matte with the, the matching um, shimmer shade. I think that's a really cool concept. Now the colors that are supposed to be me. I'm a Capricorn Aquarius. I'm not, that's not really my thing. But down here, this is really what I absolutely love in the palette. I love my pinks, my reds. I like some purples. What's everybody's favorite, um, the, the ladies that are in here? What's your favorite brand? What are the brands you go to? You're getting your sleeve just about done. Nice. I want to get more tattoos. I'm like dying to get more tattoos, but you know, tattoos are freaking expensive. I've actually been asked to do the tattoo tag by um, Chrissy at the makeup community, who's super sweet. Um, I've been asked to do the tattoo tag and I just haven't been able to get a chance to do it. I want to do it when I actually have time to put into it. Um, and I just got a tripod, so I am going to film that. Juvia's Place palettes are good. I just got my first one. I actually won it from, I think his name is Danny. It's Tegan St. Moore. I believe it's Danny Vaughn here on YouTube. But I just got my first Juvia's Place palette, so I'm pretty excited about that. And now this one, she has a, oh, there she is. Actually, Natoma, you're just in time. Guess whose packages I'm opening. I had two packages to open. I just got the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs palette. That was from Makeup Junkie Patty. I won that for a makeup look. And I'm opening your little package here now. So the first thing we got, we won this from, um, Face Mask Friday. This was last week. I haven't watched Face Mask Friday yet, but it's in my watch list. Don't worry. I will be watching that later on tonight. I just haven't had a chance to because we were out fishing. So the first thing we got is the Rose Gold. Let's see. Rose Gold Face Mask Luxury Hydrating Treatment. It's toting, rejuvenating, and wrinkle reducing. It's K-Beauty. Hello. How are you today? So I'm excited to try that. I want to start doing more face masks. I did one just recently. I did the um, Bosha pink mask and that peeled off super easy. But I can't keep sheet masks on my face that well. I use them, but I use them like when I'm laying in bed at night when nobody can see me because if I try to do them when I'm up talking, they just fall off my face. I don't know if my face is too small for them or what it is. Like they always overlap up here. They I can't get them to lay down fit. Uh, correctly on my face so I don't think it's gonna work hi missy how are you we're just kind of chit-chatting they make sheet mask face holders really where would I find something like that I'm really curious because I actually love sheet masks but I hate that they don't stay on my face so I don't use them much I think it Abadab said you could get clips I'll have to watch some more of our videos because I do actually have um I, I am subscribed to Abadabs too um, the next thing in this package, it is the Nicole Miller New York Pinks Super Shine Lip Gloss Collection. And I'm actually excited about this. I just started wearing more lip glosses. I'm a matte lipstick girl. But oh my god, my lips get so dry. You just got notified. Oh, no, you didn't miss much, Bargain Beauty. I showed a palette that I got and I was talking about I'm going to do the perfect subscriber tag. Which is actually more for you as a subscriber as opposed to the people who are subscribed to you. There's lots of lots of other creators in the in this chat as well. So you guys be sure to show each other love. I absolutely love all the ladies that I have in here. I love my subscribers. So the next thing I got, it's the Nicole Miller Pink's Super Shine Lip Gloss Collection. I know my lighting's really bright over there, so I'm kind of trying to keep it over here more. There's like a hot pinky color, like three kind of nude or lighter pinks, and then a darker pink. Your lips are like sandpaper in the winter. Honestly, you know what I use for that? 
I am obsessed with this stuff, and this is a little sample, and I really think I need to go buy it. It's the um, Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Now, I do use just the little, like, gel lip mask that you can't do anything because they don't have... Like, why don't they make gel, gel lip masks where you could actually open your mouth while you're using them? I know that sounds crazy, but doggone it, I gotta, like, sit there. I can't drink anything. I can't eat anything. You can't do matte lipstick because it makes you, my lips get dry but i pretty i i honestly stick with mostly jeffree star and kat von d liquid lips because i find them to be the most comfortable formulas now jeffree star's wands as much as i love the lipstick i don't like his wand so i i need to get like that did we come back I think we did. The lace peel-off mask we got with BoxyCharm. You save the lace and use it again. I actually just got a um, lace peel-off mask from some friends of mine. So I'm actually thinking about doing that because I know they have the little, like, ear loops. Thank you. I like the backdrop, too. It's actually just fabric from Walmart. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, the last thing I got in my package from Natoma, and it's super well packaged. So let me see if I have scissors. I didn't get the, Priscilla, I didn't get the mask with the lace from um, BoxyCharm either, but I did just get one of my friends, Chris and Kathy. They're another, like, small channel. Hi, Isabella. Chris and Kathy are another small channel that actually I'm promoting right now in my um, 150 subscriber giveaway. They're um, a couple of older sisters, and they basically just do, you don't have to behave in here, Isabella. Trust me, if you only knew me. Um... They sit down and do get ready with me. They're longer videos, but they sit and do pretty much their whole face. And oh my gosh, you will laugh and giggle and smile. And you just really feel like you're sitting there with them. You have a channel to girl. Oh, I know you do Face Mask Monday, Katie. I watch your Face Mask Monday. And you said you were going to do Mascara Monday too. But I don't think I've seen you do a Mascara Monday. But that could be because... Sometimes I put stuff in my watch list and it takes me a little while to actually watch it, but I promise I do watch. Do watch all the videos. Like, and honest, I'm going to be honest. I have, I have a sneaky little trick here. I watch YouTube on Roku, Roku at night, like when I'm going to bed. And if you guys know anything about Roku, the Roku tends to just play. So I will watch videos until I fall asleep. And then the Roku just keeps going. So you guys might get multiple watches from me. I don't know if that actually counts or not. But it's a very good possibility you get multiple watches out of me. Because I just let the Roku play. And then I'll delete the videos that I actually watched. And comment on the videos I actually watched. And then I'll go back in and rewatch the other videos. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, the last thing I got from Natoma or Confidence Plus is this Celestial Rose eyeshadow palette this is from who is this from color story and actually this is super gorgeous i'm trying not to blind you guys with the mirror look at that and crazy enough i don't own a nude palette i know that's so contrary to most beauty channels or most people that talk about beauty nude palettes as much as i love wearing pinks i don't wear a lot of nudes so i've never bought a nude palette. So this is actually like, I'm super stoked about this because it's nudes, but it's like more in the pinky shades and it looks kind of peachy, but it's actually pinky. So I am super excited to try this. I will absolutely, and but Natoma, I will love it. Trust me. I love all makeup. Missy, you love the bold looks I do. Girl, I live for a bold look. Isabella, you're wearing the palette you got from, what palette did you get from Natoma, Isabella? Hi, Ghost Ninja Panda. How are you? I just saw you in Natoma's live. Isabella, what palette did you get? I'm excited. I like knowing these things. I'm such a dork. And you guys, you should, like, do the perfect subscriber tag with me. Leave your comments on these questions because I'm really, um... I'm really curious to hear what other people have to say on this. Like, it's supposed to be a tag video. I'm supposed to go through and tag everybody, but I would rather just have a conversation with you about it. Speaking of makeup, you're going to take your mind off and get a mask on while you hang out. Absolutely perfect. I would do a mask. Um, oh, Isabella was your boxy charm winner. That's awesome. I would do a mask, but I actually already have a mask on. I have the um, Chanel... 
Hydra Beauty. Um, it's like an overnight mask, so it's kind of like a moisturizer. That was your first time ever winning and you won a boxy charm? Isabella, that's an awesome win. Absolutely awesome. All right, you guys, let's do this perfect subscriber tag. I know I've got other creators here, so I'm I'm just curious. Or Well, even if you're not a creator, like I said, this is more for how you are as a subscriber as opposed to how you, you feel, who you feel would be a perfect subscriber. I think they should turn that into a tag too. I'm just, I, I would like to hear that. I kind of said what I like. I like people that interact with me. Even if it's not on my videos, I really like when a creator responds to me and actually holds a conversation conversation with me. I know I'm horrible about, I'll just give hearts a lot of times or, or thumbs up. <laughs> you, you, Isabella, you absolutely can because you had us rolling. Like, I'm not really doing this for likes or subscribers. PR would be nice, not gonna lie. But I did it just because I wanted to. I don't have a lot of female friends. I don't like stay close to females. So I figured why not? I like talking about makeup. So why not get on here and, you know, do makeup, share makeup. All right, so perfect subscriber tag. I think it's like 10 or 15 questions. I wrote them all down because I'm filming on my phone, even though I said I would film on my camera more, but it's way easier to go live on my phone than to try to do it on my camera, even though I know my camera has that function. Okay, so the first question is, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel or video, or do you try a few videos first? Now, me personally, when I find a new channel, it kind of depends. Like nine times out of 10, if it's a huge giveaway, I, I generally do subscribe. We're not going to lie. Like all of us that are in the beauty community, at least I think all of us, if we see a big giveaway, we subscribe right away. Now, for the most part, if I find a new channel that I think will be interesting, I'll add a couple videos to my watch list or watch a couple videos back to back. And I will decide if I want to watch that channel, especially if they're a bigger channel. Um, I don't watch a lot of large channels. I do have a couple I watch. But generally, when I subscribe to someone, it's because I'm genuinely interested in their content. <laughs> a bad student. Oh my gosh, you got the, the you got to bring up the, the you got to wear the dunce cap if you don't hit the like button. There we go. Hey Ashley, how are you? Generally, though, I do when I subscribe to someone, it's because I've watched a couple of their videos and I've enjoyed those videos, and I've made the decision to watch them, especially. With small creators, I really want to take the time to watch a full video, to watch the ads, and to really get, to, to, to do the best I can for them. Like, I'm going to hit the like button. I'm going to watch their entire video. If they're monetized, I'm going to listen to the ad. And like I said, I do kind of cheat a little bit because I do watch on my Roku as well. So I'm not going to lie. I do generally go back and watch the videos though because I want to see what's going to happen. Like I've had videos from like Jessica with No Drama Makeup Mama. I've had videos that I know I've watched two or three times but only sat down and watched once. And I don't comment or like the video until I sit down and watch that video because I want to give a genuine comment. I don't want to just be there. Um, so question number two, and, and you guys, same, same, same question. Do you subscribe right away or do you wait until you know that you like a channel? You're the same, Missy. It is Missy, right? Bargain Beauty, it is Missy, correct? I'm almost positive it is because you tag me all the time on Instagram, girl. And thank you because we all like makeup giveaways. We're not going to lie. It's one of the things that pushed me into commenting on YouTube. I've always been a watcher. But one of the things that pushed me into commenting is somebody was giving, I don't even remember what it was to be honest with you, but I was like, oh my gosh, I would really like to have that. I think it was a James Charles palette. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure it was a James Charles, Charles palette, which I have now. You watch a few, few first. I, yep, same thing, same thing. Did you get the straight jacket on right? Did I, did I miss something on that one? I, I could use a straight jacket some days. Not gonna lie, I can be a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> and okay, oh, there we go. So question number two. Oh gosh. Oh, does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? No. It doesn't bother me if people say make sure you subscribe. It's not something I've really done on my channel. Because I feel like if people want to watch, that's awesome. 
but I don't want to force them to watch. And if you just subscribe for a giveaway, that kind of sucks, but I know that's a risk doing giveaways. I do have a giveaway going on right now, but you have to follow another channel. It's the 150 subscriber giveaway, which we're getting towards that 200 mark now even. So yeah, um, that giveaway is going to end on March 1st. And then I have a, another giveaway prize I'm going to send out after March 1st as well. So yeah, does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? No, it doesn't. I understand why people say it. It doesn't bother me that they say it. I know some people are like, oh, you don't have to say that. It's annoying that you say that. No, we all want to grow. The next question is, how many channels do you have the notif notification bell turned on for? A lot. I honestly have the notification bell turned on for a lot of channels. And actually, um, these two questions kind of go together for me. So I do have a lot of notification bells turned on. Hi, Gina. How are you tonight? We're doing the perfect subscriber tag. So right now it's how many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? I have a lot of notification bells turned on. But the next question is, do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites? I watch, I try to watch as many as I possibly can. Now, there are some I cheat if it's a video that, like, and I can honestly say with the ladies that are in here currently, I, hi, Kathy, there's Miss Kathy now. You guys see, I get so excited when I, I get to talk to Kathy. Kathy is a, an absolute sweetheart. I talked to her on Messenger as well. Um, and actually, yeah, Missy knows Kathy and Tattooed Mama, Katie knows Kathy. They're, they're all subscribed to Miss Kathy and Chris now. Um, so do you watch every channel video from your feed? Yes and no. I try to watch as many videos as I possibly can. I do put them in my watch list and watch them later. Some of them, if it's content that I want to support the creator, but it's not something that I may um, be interested in, I will let it play on my Roku. I make sure it does cycle through my watch so they get that watch but I may not actually sit down and fully watch the video. And let's go on to the next question. Aren't they hilarious? Oh my God, they're cracking me up tonight. They were doing it in your live and now they're doing it in my live and I absolutely love it because one of the reasons I started YouTube is because I wanted interaction. And honestly, at first I was kind of scared about lives, but now I kind of love them because that's when everybody gets to know each other. We've had some really deep conversations on Jessica's channel. Natoma, I know we've had some deep conversations on yours as well. Okay, so the next one is, how many channels do you never miss an upload for, no matter how busy you are? I never miss an upload because I'm busy. I will put it in my watch list. I will watch it later. Um, Natoma, I would... I think that you can actually say this. And you can see your watch time if you really look for it. Um, you prefer candy necklaces. I used to wear candy necklaces all the time in high school. Me and my best friend. No joke. Like we were total goth kids, but we always had the candy necklace and we always had sugar all over our necks. I don't know why we did it. Totally off topic. But yeah, I never miss an upload because I'm busy. I will sit down. There are a couple channels and actually Natoma, I watch your videos all the time. Missy, I watch all your videos. Kathy, you know I watch your videos because Chris and Kathy, I comment bomb. Usually I will try to leave one comment or just a couple comments. Chris and Kathy, as soon as they say something that I find funny or amusing, I comment on it. If they're using a product I'm curious about, I comment on it. Like, they absolutely know I watch every second of their videos. Yet yeah, Gina's Beauty Reviews, we would absolutely be there for you, sweetheart. And honestly, the cool thing about a live, just don't let it upload. You can be live and be there with the people that you're you're there with, and then nobody else ever has to see it. Like, you don't have to keep it. I love you guys too, Kathy. Oh my gosh. Why does it tell you Kathy has no content? Kathy has no content on this channel. This is her personal YouTube account. It's actually, their, their YouTube name is Chris and Kathy. If you look at my 150 subscriber giveaway, it actually has their link right in that video. It has a link to um, a, a couple videos back from them. So she does have a channel. It's just not the, com the, the account that she comments with. Isabella, do, if you do it on a Wednesday or a Friday, I'm 
almost always able to. Well, Fridays are a little iffy because sometimes I do stuff with the family, but on Wednesdays, I am almost always in lives. Like, I will spend my whole night sitting in a live. Like, I sit with Jessica and Natoma quite a bit. I don't always talk. Kathy, if it will let you put your link in here, you're absolutely allowed to put your link in here. Like, I'm not gonna, um, edit that. And actually, I need to make you a moderator in my chats as well, but I'll have to do that later. Um, okay. So never miss an upload. I do always try to watch the videos. I have probably 10 channels or so that I watch every single video. Make sure I comment. I Sometimes I'll just like, but these 10 channels, like I always comment on their videos. I always make sure I watch full watch time. Like I am a hundred percent in support of them. If you girls ever ever want to start a channel, they'll say, honestly, Natoma, Chris and Kathy are absolutely amazing. Like, watch one of their videos. They are long videos. But just watching one of them, you, you absolutely feel like you're just sitting down and having a chit chat with them. And that's what I absolutely love about them. Okay, next question. And I've kind of touched on this already. It's what kind of commenter are you? So me personally... I am the kind of commenter, usually I will try to watch a video and I'll try to remember everything. So I'll, and then I'll leave a comment after I watch the video. Now there are times when they're longer videos or when they're, um, when it just has a lot of information or something really catches my attention, I'll comment right away and I may go back in and edit my comment so that I can add anything else that I catch later on in the video. And again, like I said, with Chris and Kathy, like I love Kathy, anything she says, anything Chris says, anything I feel like saying, I comment, like they will have 50 comments on their one video from me. I will comment on everything with them because I love you. Thank you so much for joining us, Isabella. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the love. Chris and Kathy at YouTube. Yes, it, it, it is Chris and Kathy. And, and Natoma, I can send you the link as well. It's also in, um, in the description box in my 150 um, subscriber giveaway because that's what I asked people to do was to su subscribe to their channel and go leave a hashtag so they would know that I sent them because they were doing a giveaway as well. But honestly, I just wanted to support them. I The giveaway is awesome. I just wanted to support them because I watch every single one, every single minute. Like when I get home from work and they have a video posted, the first thing I do is watch their video and comment on every single second. Like I grab a Pepsi, I lay down in bed and I watch Chris and Kathy because they just make me smile. They make me feel good. Oh, Kathy, you're my family member too, honey. I love you. Okay, next question. Do you skip ads or watch? I don't watch a lot, a lot, a lot of channels that have videos because I watch a lot of small creators. But if it's a small creator or someone that is under, say, 10,000, I won't skip their ads. If it is a larger creator, like I watch Jeffree Star, I'll skip every ad in a Jeffree Star video. You think he needs my money, girl? No, he gets enough of my money already. <laughs> Honestly. Like, I'm not going to watch an ad in one of his videos. I'm sorry. I love him. Can't do it. If you don't need the money, I'm going to skip it. If you truly love the channel, you won't skip ads. I, I do with people like Jeffree Star because, honestly, the little few cents that he makes off me watching his video, girl, he don't need it. He don't care. He don't need it. Um, do you speed up videos? No. I, I don't even know if I know how. Hi, Carmen. How are you today? Yeah, I've never sped up a video. I don't think I know how. I guess I probably could figure it out pretty easily. But if I'm going to watch a video, I'm going to watch a video. If I'm not going to watch it, I'm just going to click out of it. Okay. Do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? I don't believe I've used an affiliate code. But I have clicked affiliate links. It's been a while. I don't order a lot of stuff through videos. Yeah, I didn't know you could speed stuff up either. This was this was part of the, that tag. And I will leave that tag down in the um, description box when we finish this as well. How are you doing tonight, Carmen? We got all our girls in here. These are all my girls that are on um, Chris and Kathy's channel too. Where are we at? Yeah, do you click links, affiliate links, or use affiliate codes? Do you guys use affiliate codes? Do you use affiliate links? Like, do you actually click the links, or do you go to the website itself as opposed to um, 
clicking an affiliate link? Do you would you rather go and find the website yourself? Because I did used to do that an awful lot. Now with small creators, I'm doing my best to click the links in the um, description box. Athena, that's totally fine. I understand you having to go take care of the girls. I had my um my little one out today. We were we were out uh, fishing today. Daddy caught a um a redfish. Grayson caught a couple red snappers and a couple needlefish. <laughs> Okay, next question. What's your preference when it comes to video length? Honestly, I don't have a preference. It really depends on what the content is. If it's something I really want to watch, if it's three hours long, I would sit and watch it. If it's, especially if it's a live, I sit and watch lives, like when it's live. Now, when it's not live, I try to sit and watch lives, but if it's a really long one, there's a woman on here. I love her to death, and I'm sure all you guys know her, Miss Pamela Ebert. I can't sit through all of Pamela's lives sometimes because she will go live for like three hours. I I think like an hour's, well, no, maybe two hours is my limit. An hour's my limit when it comes to re-watching a live. I can stay in a live that long, but an hour's definitely my limit when it comes to re-watching a live. I have trouble watching anything past that unless it's like Jessica just did that um, no mirror makeup challenge. I actually just sat and watched that. I finally had time to watch it tonight. So I did end up watching that, re-watching the entire live. As long as it has some sort of content. If it's just like a hangout chit chat, I want to, but it doesn't work. Most of your videos are 15 to 30 minutes for videos and live like 45 minutes to an hour. But Athena, again, you you actually sit and talk to your subscribers. So it doesn't, it, it's different when you're actually conversational. You're in the car, you're listening. Oh, I understand, Natoma. I completely understand. Um, next, so what's your preference when it comes to video length? Lives, if I'm re-watching about an hour, if I'm actually in the live, I will watch as long as it's interesting. Like, as long as we're having conversation. And Okay, as long as it's interesting sounds bad. But I will sit and watch an entire live with absolutely no problem if it's live. Uh, videos, I think I prefer them to be under an hour. But certain people, like I said, Chris and Kathy, I'll, I don't care how long their video is. I would sit through a two, three hour video with them. If I got to pause it and come back, I'll pause it and come back. I'll watch it again later. I, I will absolutely come back and comment everything I want to comment and talk to them as much as I want to. Okay, next question. Do you thumbs up most videos? Yes, if I enjoy the content or if it's a creator that I follow. Now, if it's a video that, hi, how are you today? Now, I, I try to thumbs up videos, like every video that I watch that's from a creator, like a small creator or somebody I really like, or, or I'll even, some larger creators, I will try to um, thumbs up their video. Realize how long Chris and Kathy's videos are funny, and I don't really um, even notice that I'm sitting there for that long. I'll look up and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I watched that entire video already. Like, I'll just be laying in bed with my drink. I got my Pepsi. See, Chris, uh, Kathy, I told you. <laughs> oh, Athena, I try to be an awesome supporter, but you really motivate me. Like, you make me smile. When I watch your content, I smile with you because you are you have that personality. Like, you are going to go so far, honey. Absolutely going to be amazing. Okay, so do you thumbs up most videos? Yes. If it's a small creator, I absolutely thumbs up the video. I do try to comment if it's a small creator. On bigger creators, sometimes I'm very guilty of, like, Again, Jeffree Star, I use him as an example a lot because he is the biggest YouTuber I watch. I don't watch Manny. I don't watch Laura Lee. Um, I do watch Alexandria Ryan. I will thumbs up her video still because it still means a lot to her. I do watch Porcelain. But again, these are, uh, Porcelain's still considered a micro-influencer. Even though her fan base has gotten huge, she's still considered a micro-influencer. I watch a guy right now. His name is Christopher J. M. U. A. And I'm honestly waiting for his channel to blow up. And you, yours too, uh, Miss Athena. Like, your channel is going to go so far. We just need to spread the word and get you out there. And girl, you are going to go so far, you're not going to know what what hit you. Oh, you should, Missy, you supported. Yay, you got Athena. She's amazing. I'm telling you, you guys, she is so motivational and so amazing. Like, this woman does everything. She is super awesome. Okay, next question. Trying to not make this go too long because we're already at like a half hour, but 
I don't care. I'm just chit-chatting with y'all. So if y'all get bored, you let me know and we'll go do something else. I'll watch a bunch of other videos or something. I don't know. I know Alexandra is hilarious. Porcelain I like because she's absolutely real. And there's another girl. Porcelain I love, but there's another girl and I can't think of her name. And then I just saw one the other day. Her name is um, your friend Jess, I think. And oh my God, she, I just found her. She's so real. It's ridiculous. And I absolutely love that about her. And she's edgier too, which y'all know. Yeah, I can do kind of pretty. If y'all look at my Instagram, I can do pretty. I can do normal makeup, but that's not my thing. I like bold. I like crazy. I like goth. Like, seriously, you guys, can you see my shirt? I am rocking a Tim Burton Corpse Bride tank top today because Disney and dark. It's what I love. My Instagram is the same name as on here. My, my Instagram is the same um, handle as on here. Your basic is the Tomo. Oh my God. There is nothing wrong with being basic. It's just never been me. I can do a nude eye. I really can. Like I, I totally love doing a nude eye with glitter. The bold bright colors are my thing, girl. So like, don't watch one of my tutorials because I will whip out the craziest, most insane. Like I absolutely love putting like hot pink and purple together. Hi, Myra. She's over from Natoma's channel as well. Yeah, the, the bold colors are my thing, but don't get me wrong. I got some pretty, I, I got the Natasha Denona Sunset palette and I can rock that palette too, which is pretty uh, basic, <laughs> but it, it, it's beautiful. Missy, you're trying to step out of your comfort zone. Missy, you do a great job though. Your videos are awesome too. I agree. If we were all the same, it wouldn't be as interesting to watch. Absolutely. Oh no, Chris went on an insane haul at Ulta again? Like after the video I watched or is that the one you're talking about? Because girl, yeah. And and that little Too Faced you got, they really went pretty far on that. But honestly, I would have bought it because I would have found it cheeky. I have a problem with that. If, if something like makes me giggle, like one of the um most recent drugstore palettes I got. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. I legitimately bought the palette for the theming. Hold on. It's just a little drugstore palette. I got it at Ulta and I actually got it as a Christmas gift for a friend as well. And I got it. Um, this is the Essence I Am With The Band eyeshadow palette. And I got this and I try to keep the plastic on my palettes. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. So the, the shade names, it's Jump Around wannabe, chasing waterfalls, under the bridge, hard knock life, purple rain, californication, like my hubby said need to play some, girl, I play Depeche Mode all day. Y'all know I love me some Depeche Mode to this day. I went to see them live like a couple years ago. So yeah, I will play Depeche Mode all day, every day. Depeche Mode and The Cure. Y'all know I love my goth rock, so. But yeah, this little palette I seriously bought because I thought it was cheeky. Like, and I got it as a gift for somebody else because I thought it was funny. Like, it just, it just tickles me. And if something makes me smile and laugh, like, I probably would not have used this or bought this based on the, the shades. The shades aren't bad, but I wouldn't have necessarily picked it up because it wasn't a brand I was super familiar with. But because of the cheekiness of it, I absolutely bought it. I thought it was funny. Okay, <laughs> so back to the tag. We only have two questions left in the tag. Do you ever thumbs down a video? No, absolutely not. I don't feel the need to thumbs down a video. Now, if it's something controversial or if it's something that needs to be reported, which I've never seen a video that needs to be reported, but if it's something that needs to be re reported, I would probably report it. I don't feel the need to thumbs down a video and I probably never will. I will give constructive criticism. Um, I will give my opinion of something, but I don't feel the need to thumbs down a video. Either I'm going to click out of it or I will take the time and say what I'm having the issue with, but I'm never going to thumbs down a video. 
I just, I can't. There's, there's, there's no reason for it. Just click off the video. Don't watch it. Okay. Last one. You do thumb sound videos. That, that's really interesting, Missy. I was just, um, only big YouTubers being icky and entitled. Okay. I can definitely see that. I can definitely see that. Um, sometimes people get lost on their way. That's for sure. I, that, I do feel that way. I, I, don't think I dislike though. I would just click off the video personally because that dislikes interaction for them. So I think I'd rather just not care. There is a fruit fly flying around and it's going to drive me crazy. Yeah, just, just move on. Like it's just me personally. I get, I absolutely get why, um, why, why you would thumbs down. I just, I don't feel the need to, like, I'm just going to say bye. Um, Last one, and this is this this one. I have a kind of complicated um, answer for. It says, "Do you share other YouTubers' videos on your social medias?" Not usually, but I absolutely talk about other YouTubers on social media. I won't necessarily share their video, but I will promote them. I will talk about them, especially if it's somebody I really enjoy watching. Like I will never promote someone that I don't feel strongly about. I will never talk about a channel that I don't feel strongly about. If I do feel strongly about you, I will talk about you. Like, I love Jeffree Star, so I watch him. Chris and Kathy. I love Chris and Kathy. I love how interactive they are. I talk about them. Confidence Plus. I talk about her. Um, Bargain Beauty Missy. I talk about you. Katie James. I talk about her. And let me tell you, Katie is like makeup goals for me. Like... She is the absolute most adorable. She reminds me of me in my 20s because, yeah, she's got the same haircut I had. My hair was black and red. Actually, my hair was even black and red then. It wasn't the red shade that it is now. It was like fire engine red bangs and the rest was all like blue black. But I had the, the total side shaved and I had the tattoos and I had the piercings. Well, I still have the piercings, obviously. Um, my ears were actually pierced all the way up. Now I have none because my cartilage, I, the, the piece of jewelry I had was probably 10 years old and it just hurt. My tragus I lost and I have not re-pierced and the rest I just don't care about anymore. So I just have my facial piercings and my navel now. But yeah, so that was the last one. It was the, do you share other YouTubers videos on your social medias? And I do, but I don't, I don't share their videos, but I do promote them. Like I will talk about them. I'll even mention videos that they've done. I just don't necessarily share their videos. Like click that little share button. I don't, I don't usually do that. So what do you guys, that, that that's the end of the tag. What do we talk about? What do you guys want to chit chat about? I um obviously didn't wear any, um, makeup today so I bet black hair and fire engine red highlights oh you had in the, in in yeah uh, I still to this day hi glam beauty how are you you're new to my channel I don't think I've seen you before what's your name glam beauty we're just sitting here chit-chatting anybody you guys if I'm not um a friend of yours already I will make sure I go and do that Oh, Natoma, thank you so much. That means so much. Like, if y'all notice, my brows are ridiculous. This is why I hate doing my brows, because you can see, like, the little spots here where I don't have, where I have, um, I have a mole under my eyebrow. This is why I hate doing my brows. Between that and the eyebrow rings, I'm seriously considering just shaving them off and drawing them on. What's my next video idea? Kathy, y'all give me an idea what you want to see for my next video. I'm really curious what everyone wants to see. I actually wax my own eyebrows, Natoma. And I do a pretty decent job of it. Just I slack on when I do it. But when I wax my eyebrows, I do take most of them off because I have like this little patch. I'm totally flipping y'all off. Sorry. I have like this little patch here. So, uh, yep. There we go. You can't wax your eyebrows, Athena. Gina, is threading painful? Like, I watch people get their eyebrows threaded, and it looks like it, it hurts so bad. You want to know how I wax my eyebrows? I have a little wax warmer. 
Um, it takes a hard wax. I, it's a Sally Hansen wax warmer and I just plug it in and heat it up. And then I use a tiny little, um, like popsicle stick. Basically I buy them in the little craft section and I just use that for the wax. It's a, it's a hard wax. So it dries down and then you just pull it off. And honestly, if you guys look like I don't have brows on, my brows are shaped with the exception of that little spot. My brows are shaped fairly decently. I don't know how well you guys can see them because of the lighting. Once you leave the platinum brown blonde, you'll do that right to your hair color. Do my eyes look, it seems like my eyes look almost blue on camera because of the lighting. That's just random, I know. I need to actually do my hair again. Like, look how much brutes are showing you guys. This is, this is why I don't use my natural hair color because there's no highlight, there's no low light, there's nothing. But look, you can see I don't really have much as far as gray going on at my age, so we're doing good. <laughs> I thought they did. Kathy, your hair, I would be okay with white hair. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be okay with white hair. I, one time, I always did, um, dye my hair for a video. God, no. I get dye like all right through here. All I get hair dye everywhere when I do my hair. Because if you notice, let's see, my hair is actually black underneath. Now that's actually, Athena, that's what I was going with. I used to do just my bangs, okay? I used to do like this much. If I can pull it out, this, I used to do about this much hair. And I always keep my bangs really long like this. I used to do about this much and I would bleach it out and I'd put the bright, bold colors in it. And I did do my hair purple once, just in the front. Purple fades to gray. It was beautiful. But this was when I was like 20 something and everybody's like, oh, you dyed your hair gray. This was before gray hair was the thing. So Kathy girl, rock it. If your hair is gray, rock your gray hair. Your hubby dyes your hair. That would make a good video, Missy. I would love to see that. I just had, um, I, it had been requested that Grayson did my makeup. So I let Grayson do my makeup, especially because he really has fun doing makeup. It's a, it's an artistic outlet for him. He doesn't really think much of a makeup. He just, it, he likes the art of it. Like it makes him feel cool. So I let him do it and he had so much fun. But eventually I kind of want to have my boyfriend do my makeup too. Blue gray, um, blue gray hair would be nice. Your fiance twists your hair when you don't make it to the... Oh, Athena, that's awesome. And girl, your hair always looks cute. You always got your accessories. I love it. Some of the jewelry that Miss Athena has is absolutely amazing. Like, I don't wear a lot of jewelry, but let me tell you, this girl makes me want to wear jewelry. And actually, I have a necklace that she sent to me, and I just didn't put it on today because we were out fishing. Ooh, you have a hair journey video posting tomorrow. I'm excited to see that, girl. Finn Jane. What does Finn Jane do, Natoma? I did receive it. I actually opened it. Um, I think it was on a, uh, on a live. Gina, I'm great. Oh, thank you, Gina. I feel kind of... um uncomfortable when I do a live. I say um a lot and don't really know what to do with myself. I find myself kind of playing with my hands. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. You're going to have to check her out. I'm telling you, you guys, a passion is a verb. Athena, she is absolutely the most motivational, uplifting person that, that you ever will watch. Like, I found it really interesting because I don't, I don't feel she, I'm a lot like her, but something about her just motivated me and she uplifts me and uplifts my spirits. And check out her smile challenge because her smile challenge is awesome. Like it's, it's a selfie a day smiling, like when you wake up and oh my gosh, it makes all the difference in the world. Like every day I get up in the morning, I take a picture. Sometimes I have my makeup done. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm like laying in bed, still like half asleep and I just snap a picture real quick and I send it to her and I don't post these pictures really anywhere else but honestly they uplift my entire day they make me feel like I don't I can't even describe it like it means so much and actually I promised her I'd make a video and I'm talking about this instead because well yeah 
But yeah, like I take a picture every day. I take a selfie every morning. I wish I could show you guys right now, but they're on my phone. I take a selfie every morning just smiling. Who is it? it it's uh, passion is a verb. Passion is a verb is Athena. And she's the one that's doing the smile challenge. And there's just something about doing that 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 changes your whole um, your whole demeanor for the day. Like, and, and really, like me personally, like I get up and I may not be in the best mood, but I take that smiling picture and I know I'm taking it for her. And I know the spirit that I'm taking that picture in. And it just totally like it changes everything for me. Like I can have a good day or a bad day, but at least I woke up and I had that, like that moment, like I'm going to face today and I'll face the day. You know, it can be a good day or a bad day, but at the beginning of the day, I, I took that picture. I smiled and it just, yeah. Athena, you've been doing it for 90 days now. You know, I did my first 30 days, but I have been keeping up. I am doing it. And you're getting a lot more no makeup pictures with me this time because I just haven't been doing makeup quite as much. Yeah, you guys, her her entire life story, there's something really special about it. Like, I absolutely like feel like I can relate to Athena so much. And, and we're totally different people, but I just, the stories that she tells, I get so much out of. Like, so I, oh my God, I can't, like, I can't because it really means that much to me. And she's probably the only person I've ever watched on YouTube that's actually brought me to tears by just telling her story because her story is, it's amazing. And the, the fact that she's overcome so many things in her life and she's still... <laughs> She's still like, you see her here. Like she is absolutely amazing. Yes, seriously, go and binge watch her because she started with a Vlogmas series and I really kind of did binge watch her. Like I watched every single one of her Vlogmas videos beginning to end. I'm, I'm shining like bad, like my lights are too bright, aren't they? Because, yeah. Because if I turn my lights out, I have like, then I just have look like I have oily skin. <laughs> Do you guys like the new setup better? Like, is it better? I haven't really been doing a lot of makeup videos. As of late, I've been doing more unboxing type stuff because I just haven't had time to sit down. Oh, Kathy, my spirit's shining. You are such a sweetheart. Oh my God, Athena, that would be amazing to meet you someday in person. When you said you were coming to Florida, I was like, girl, let me look and see if she's going to be anywhere near me because I will buy that ticket. I will try to come and see you. You like the unboxing because it gives you new products to try? Girl, subscribe to BoxyCharm. Seriously, like, what is it? One of you guys might know off the top. I don't know off the top of my head. It's like 20 some dollars. It's under 25. It's between 20 and 25. And you get some good stuff with BoxyCharm. And Allure, I haven't watched. I'm not going to lie, Kathy. I skipped the end of the video. There you go. $21 for BoxyCharm. I skipped the end of the Allure video because I didn't want to see spoilers because I don't have my February box yet. You're going to do a Passion is a Verb meetup at the end of year, at a year of the channel. Dude, that would be awesome. If I could come, I totally would. I... I'm kind of broke, <laughs> but if I can, like, I will absolutely be there for you, Athena, because you have been such a light. Like, I see why you're a speaker, because you guys, she does this in such a way that, like, you would never know. She's new to YouTube, too. Actually, I think she started her channel around the same time I started mine, and she's well on her way to 200. If she hasn't already hit 200, Athena, have you hit 200 yet? Because, girl, you totally should be at 2,000 already. You guys, I talk a lot. Do I talk too much? I totally do. That's why I started doing YouTube, where I'm not going to lie. 240. Oh my God. Oh, wait. I knew you hit 200. I was meaning 300. I knew because we had road to 200. I'm just kind of adjusting you guys. You guys, Athena's doing like a, a crazy, crazy, ridiculous prize for 300 if you can get her subscribers. I couldn't do it, but I tried. I've shared her on YouTube. I've shared her on Instagram. I'm bad at getting people subscribers. Well, I got Chris and Kathy some subscribers. Which was really cool because I, I totally love supporting other small channels. I did. I've seen you. And the funny thing is, 
the 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 couple of people that I have sent over to Chris and Kathy, I like I said, I do really w religiously watch their videos, and I watch like every second. I comment bomb them like crazy, and I see you guys comment. Priscilla, are you going to defeat some zombies again? Thank you so much for joining us, though, honey. You can go have fun playing um playing with zombies with your hubby. If you guys are ready to go, we'll we'll go. I'm just chit chatting. I don't have much else to do right now. And Kathy, if you have ideas for videos for me, girl, tell me. I'm totally down. Yeah, yeah, I comment so much on Chris and Kathy, but I'm actually seeing the girls that I sent over there. Like, I'm so happy because, oh, Athena, you don't have to do that. But yeah, um, I go and I comment the hell out of Chris and Kathy's channel, and I'm seeing the girls that were subscribed to me actually comment on Chris and Kathy's videos. Like, when I go to leave them a comment... You girls are right there with me, and that means so, so much to me because they're amazing. They're they're the sweetest people you'll ever meet. They came because I referred... Well, yeah, I mean, it's... I'm, I really am all about sharing the love. Like, this is new to me, and I don't know. I just like doing it. <laughs> I like chatting with you guys. Kathy, I'm so glad it means so much to you. That's actually why I comment on your channel the way I do, because I know how much it means to you. And I love seeing your comments on my channel as well. And the little package, let me tell you guys, Kathy and Chris sent me a package. I don't know if you guys saw the unboxing or not. They sent me a package and Kathy kept telling me, oh, it's nothing big. It's no big deal. You guys want to see, where did I put it? I think I still have it down here because I haven't used it quite yet. I was going to show you one of the things that they sent me. They kept saying, oh, it's a little package. It's a little package, right? Kathy lied. Do you guys see? I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Okay, you guys all know the Stila Glitter and Glows. This is the White Little Lies. The Stila Glitter and Glow White Little Lies. This is in the shade. I can never read this packaging. It's mint something. Mint myth. Okay. You guys are beauty channels? You know, this just launched. And these, they're not like, they're not Natasha Denona, but they're not cheap. For one little glitter, it's 24 bucks. Um, To me, that is a big thing. And it's the thought that goes behind this. Like, Kathy had seen me use these on my channel, and then she sent me one. And I'm super excited to use this. I just haven't done a, a makeup look in the last couple days. I love them though. Oh my gosh, the glitter and glows. I've never tried. Have you guys tried the um, what are they called? The glimmer and glows, the uh, metallic Stila cream eyeshadows. I have. Let's see, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and now nine of the Stila glitter and glows. Now a couple of them, three or four of them, are the little mini size, but yeah. Natoma, you love the glitter and glows or the glimmer and glows? Because I'm really curious about the glimmer and glows because the, I can't wear cream eyeshadow um, for the most part. But for some reason, the Stila glitter and glows, like, they just give my eye that, like, perfect, like, I love them. I absolutely love them. The shimmer ones. Okay, I, I really want kind of want to try them because they have some really pretty colors. Uh, Missy, check Sephora. Because last I knew, they had one of the Stila um, glitter and glow sets from Christmas time that were twenty five dollars at Christmas time. They're fifteen now. They're the mini size, but I buy the mini size. I like mini sizes. I have mini mascaras. I have. That's why I still get Birch or not Birchbox. Why I still get Ipsy because things like mascara, girl, I. I don't need a full-size mascara. I really don't because it's going to dry up. So I like minis. Mascara and um, liquid liquid liner. I like the minis because I actually use them up. I've got a bunch more empties I need to go through and I just did empties. Given a lot of this stuff was already close to finished when I started the channel, but now I finished it. And each time I finish something, I feel like, yay, I did it. It's really weird. <laughs> 
What products are you guys loving right now? I'm kind of obsessed. Some of the new products that I'm loving. Um, I've been trying the... Have you been supporting Athena? Cat, um, Athena? Have you already been a subscribe to Gina? Because I do watch Gina. Gina's um, a newer subscriber to me and I've been watching her videos. Actually, I have a couple of her videos in my watch list right now too. She's already got the watch for them, but I'm going to watch them again so I could go through. Urban Decay. <sighs> Urban Decay, I'm in a weird place with. I really am. Um, I love their lipsticks. I think they make really nice lipsticks. But for the last few years, like I have the Naked Heat palette. I do. And it's beautiful. I actually just wore it the other day. But Urban Decay is not the brand that I want it to be. Like Urban Decay Electric is my holy grail. I still to this day love that eyeshadow palette. I still wear it all the time. Full Spectrum was okay. It wasn't a bad palette. It does have every color in the rainbow. It's really pretty. It's not as pigmented. The Urban Decay Heavy Metals collection was nice. But everything else is boring or disappointing to me. Like I have the Basquiat, one of the Basquiat palettes. I don't reach for it. I can create two looks out of it. One on each side of the palette. So I don't reach for it much. Now, I do love the all-nighter foundation. You're currently obsessed with the L'Oreal Lumi foundation. Um, um, Kathy just sent me the... Actually, I have it sitting right here. The Magic Lumi, and I like it. I haven't tried it, though. Good night, Cassandra. We'll see you next time, okay? Have a wonderful evening, sweetheart. The Oil Slick Spreading Setting Spray. I don't think I've tried that one. You have all your Mary Kay makeup. I actually have one Mary Kay product. I have a brush from them and I have a cream eyeshadow. I believe I still have the cream eyeshadow, which is weird because I said earlier I can't wear creams. That cream eyeshadow I could. But yeah, I just tried this for the first time the other day and I really, really liked this. It, it really brightened up my under eyes without being cakey because of concealer. And I struggle with concealer. The only concealer I really like is Age Rewind. I try all sorts of them, but that's the only one I really like. And then the other, I've been loving a couple other products lately. All right, Myra, we'll talk to you soon, sweetheart. I'm going to get off here on a few because I'm sure everybody's starting to get tired. I don't even know what time it is. I'm just running my mouth. <laughs> Um, the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick, I have been loving this. The first time I used it, I hated it. I think it was the primer that I used. This was really, really nice. Like, it doesn't cake up on my face. It's not super full coverage. I think it says, no, actually, it doesn't say on it it's a full coverage, but people have talked about this being full coverage. And the price for this, like, girl, this is like six bucks. I hated their foundation. I love their foundation stick. And then the other thing that I'm obsessed with, and it's because I do like so many matte full coverage foundations. Like I love the Urban Decay All Nighter, but by the end of the day with me having mature skin, it settles really bad into my fine lines. The L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. It's a shape tape dupe. But I don't care much for, for shape tape. I want to like it. I really do. I have it. It creases on me. I like it for my eyelids if I do a cut crease. But it's just, I don't really like much. You're going to do another makeup re related challenge and a giveaway. Girl, you know I'm all over it. All over it. You know I like doing challenges anyway. And I love makeup challenges. Like I just did one for Susan Young here on YouTube. I forget what her actual handle is. But it was a split face challenge. So we did one side of our face one way and one side of our face the other way. There were no guidelines other than that. So I did half a face was um, inspired. It was all Disney inspired. I did half of my face as Princess Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. And then the other half I did Maleficent. And I had so much fun with that look. It was so much fun. And then the other one that I said that I won the palette from was actually the um, Valentine's Day challenge, which I did. Uh, I had a couple little glitter hearts, a paint by numbers. Is that the, um, like the palette bingo where you just put random numbers and then you let it generate? Is that what you mean, Natoma? Cause I'm, I am down for a challenge. Even if it's not me filming a challenge video, like I like participating in challenges. Like I will try to do anything. I, I think it's fun and I think it, 
as people that are into beauty and into makeup, I think it really um, broadens our horizons. It teaches us new new things, really. I will watch your paint my numbers video because you know I'm fairly new to your channel. I know your channel's actually pretty new, but I haven't seen that particular video. But every time I get up and go, <laughs> I'm sorry, Myra. We're going to get off here soon. I have a product I'm going to talk about. And if anybody wants to talk about anything, let me know. Yeah, I absolutely love being challenged. Absolutely. And Kathy, yes, you should totally do challenges. I think I think they're fun and I think they really help us grow as people who are into makeup. I think they help us grow. I want to say craft, but it's not necessarily a craft. It's it's something personally for me. I love like I'm not trying to be a makeup artist. It'd be kind of cool. And I, I think I could do it if I went to school and applied myself. I really do. Like I can do my makeup when I want to. Like I did a look the other day that I really had fun doing it. I could see the flaws in it, but a lot of people like, I have like 75 likes on Instagram on this one particular photo. And it seriously, my lid was all black, but then I had a rainbow just above my crease. I used the um, Delancey Heartquake palette, which is an Instagram brand. And it's like one of those cheap brands where you can find the end up getting the palette for next to nothing. That one I actually paid $23.99 for, but only because I had bought a palette from them before for like 10 bucks just to try them out. The no tools makeup challenge. Did you do everything with like your hands? I'm assuming your fingers. I need to watch your challenge videos. I totally do. I did do a, um, very early in my channel. I did, I think I did a 10 minute, a five or 10 minute makeup challenge. I failed. I thought I'd be able to do it, but I failed. But I got my eyes done, so that's really what I wanted to do. Okay, one more product I got to tell you guys about that I'm really liking. It's the um, Ciate Dewy Spritz. This is one of their, um, you don't like oils. Yeah, I, I understand that. I usually use my, my, um, my brushes too. A four minute makeup challenge, girl. I couldn't even do a 10 minute makeup challenge. I tried. And Kathy, I saw your video using small kitchen utensils and that was a riot. Okay. Yeah. So this is one of those, um, let me shake it up here. This is one of the, uh, like it's got the, um, I don't know if you guys can even see it. It's got the like little luminescence in it. And I love this so, so, so much having, being that I have, um, more mature skin. I am almost 40 years old. I'm going to hit 40 next year. I love this because I can put on a matte foundation and a powder and powder blush and powder contour. And I spray this on. And after about 10 minutes, everything melts together. And I don't look dry. I will look cakey at the end of the day because it'll crease into my lines. But you'll be 37 in October. Girl, I still got two years on you. And you would never guess. You guys, Athena looks like she's like 20. I know she's not, but yeah. And Natoma, there's no way I would have guessed that age. Hi, Liz. How are you? Sorry, I was like already on my rant. I did see you come in. I promise I saw you come in, girl. And actually, I think almost everybody in here knows everybody. And it makes me so happy. And the ones that didn't know each other, they're showing each other love. And I love it. Missy, you'll be 38 in May. I turned 39 this year in January. And girl, I feel like I look pretty good for my age, so I'm okay. <laughs> I don't feel like my skin shows it. And like I said, I showed y'all my roots earlier. I don't really have grace. And this, about two years now, I've had an adopted son, basically. And at a five-year-old at that, like that just started school this year. I ain't got grays quite yet, <laughs> so I'm doing good. The only place I get a gray hair, right here in this little troublesome eyebrow. 30 is the new 20. Girl, I am with you on that. 33. Oh, I love that, Athena. I will take 33. I am totally good with us. Liz, I agree. Small YouTubers should absolutely support each other. And that's a lot of what this video was about is how you are as a subscriber. You raised many kids, Kathy, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that, sweetheart. Kathy has her, has her own children, and she has grown children, and I've seen her children on her videos, too. And Miss Natoma, I saw your baby girl today, and she was absolutely adorable. My hair looks almost greasy, you guys, and it's not. I guess it's just the light. 
because you can see the rest of it. It's not crazy. I got some crazy hair. Oh, thank you so much, Athena, for supporting Miss Liz there. I'm telling you, you guys, you will, you will love Athena. Like once you start watching her videos, she is not my typical kind of channel. I watch beauty videos and I watch Funko Pop videos just because I like Funko Pops. You guys saw I did a weird little video. That was what that was. Oh, <laughs> hi, baby girl. Um, I watch Video videos and Funko Pop videos. That's most of what I watch. Something about Athena drew me in. Passion is a verb. Drew me in so, so, so much that like she had me like that. I watched, I think, one or two of her videos and I was hooked. And from that point on, like I listened to every single word she said. She's done a challenge that I wasn't able to participate in, but it's a really cool money saving challenge. She's doing the smile challenge, which is awesome. I, oh yeah. She is so, so, so inspirational. And so are you, Natoma. Like you guys are, oh, I can't even like say what like you and Jessica have meant to me. Kathy, like everybody here, like I, I keep forgetting that I like, I want to say thank you to everybody that's here. I want to say thank you guys for joining me because the people that are here are really people that support. And I think that is absolutely awesome. Like, I absolutely love interacting with every one of you guys. But I know it's getting late and we've been on here for a while. If you guys have suggestions for me, drop them in a comment on a video. Like, I don't even care where you drop them. Or you can DM me. You can DM me on... um. Instagram. A couple of you guys know how to get a hold of me on Facebook as well. A video where you open up on things. I would absolutely love that, Missy. I am totally down for that. There's been some things that I've talked about in my lives and I haven't gone into a lot of detail about them, but I've talked about some of the, the, the difficult things in my life. I have trouble sitting down. I don't think I would be able to film a video on them. But in the live streams, I can talk about them. I can even write about it. But I like having the people to um, bounce things off of when it when it is a deep discussion. Natoma, I had so much fun hanging out with you tonight. You guys, I actually, Natoma, right before we came on here, and she actually ended her so I could jump on because I told her I was going to jump on because I honestly, I just really wanted to open the package for her <laughs> and do this tag. So um, Natoma does lives as well. You like videos where they, they open up, Liz? Honestly, Liz, you, girl, you can do it too. I absolutely know you can. But yeah, we, we, we sat and we chatted with Natoma about her hubby fishing for sharks. Did he catch anything, Natoma? I really hope he caught something tonight. Yeah, uh, Athena's Rest in Grace, like, that is the series that made me like completely cry. She is completely transparent. And there are things that I would, I would have a really, really hard time talking about on camera. And she, she does it so absolutely beautifully. And it really, it really, it warms my heart. Like it, it it's just, it, it's absolutely amazing. But I will go ahead, my lovely people, and I will say goodnight to all of you. I'm so happy you guys joined me. If you guys have video ideas or suggestions or looks you want to see or palettes you want to see me use, I would absolutely love that. I've done a couple more lives and unboxings lately just because I haven't really decided what I want to do. I'm still super new to my channel. So yeah. Bye, Missy, Elizabeth, Natoma, Kathy, my love. Kathy, you know how to message me. Everybody else can absolutely um, DM me on Instagram. Like I said, it's the same name that's on here. You don't have to follow me. You can inst you can still message people if you're not following them. Just sometimes they won't accept the message. I absolutely will if you need to chat. This was absolutely so fun. And I will talk to, I'm going to go ahead and end this now. And I will talk to all you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.